Welcome to the Promega Feynman Center. This manufacturing facility opened in 2014 to serve the emerging need for CGMP manufacturing and provide plenty of capacity for the future. It was fitting to name the building after physicist Richard Feynman, who not only won a Nobel Prize, he saw possibilities in science before they were emerging. This facility was designed to be ready for the technologies we have yet to imagine. The Feynman Center is comprised of two distinct spaces, the Crossroads and one of Promega's manufacturing operation centers. Welcome to the Crossroads. Promega has a history of creating spaces that integrate with the environment and bring the outside in. The 52,000 square foot or 4,800 square meter Crossroads area within the Feynman Center is a perfect example of that practice. The aptly named Crossroads provides a unique opportunity for employees across the campus to meet or unexpectedly intersect throughout the day. Built with sustainability in mind, the space brings in abundant natural light, holds the glacial erratic boulders pushed to the land over 10,000 years ago, and uses a combination of straight beams and curved arches that create flow, ease, and a creative, productive, and healthy working environment. In addition, 63 geothermal wells efficiently heat and cool the space. Solar water heaters offer supplemental heating, and the photovoltaic panels produce over 2 million kilowatt hours per year. The Winter Garden is open year-round for meetings, events, or just to work in the warm, inviting space. The living wall of 5,000 plants comprising 30 tropical and native species create a refuge, especially in the winter months. Employees are invited to use third spaces to break routine and bring the option of new perspectives. These areas provide an intersection of work and home, with details that honor our global branches and art from both local and worldwide artists. The beauty and awe of art around campus energizes and enhances the creativity of employees and visitors. The customer oasis provides visitors a place of their own for the day. The space accommodates both formal and informal gatherings to allow for both large group collaboration and breakouts. The floor, a labor of love and craft, is comprised of 40,000 hand-laid and cut mesquite tiles, a material that is not only sustainable, but beautiful. From here, visitors can also get a glimpse of much of the campus and the restored prairie swale and ponds. Across the hall from the customer oasis, Customers and employees can learn about the latest technologies and products with hands-on training in our two labs. The training laboratories also showcase instrumentation, including Glomax, Spectrum, Maxwell, and Max Prep products. As we leave the crossroads, we enter our 210,000 square foot or 19,510 square meter manufacturing center. As a CGMP facility, Design and flow are critical to maintain the integrity of our products. Feynman Center shows how a typical in vitro diagnostic reagent is produced, dispensed, kitted, and quality controlled. All raw materials, bottles, and associated packaging goods are received at the dock and stored for product manufacturing. Our inventory management system tracks all inventory. Two unique features of our raw material storage include the turret truck to move materials between the floor and the vertical shelves, and a vertical lift module, which stores materials at ambient temperatures of 15 to 30 degrees Celsius. Both allow us to maximize storage space. At the Feynman Center, we have the capacity to produce hundreds of liters of reagents. A process order and bill of materials guides the selection of the appropriate recipe on the HMI screen. The associated bulk part number and process order number are recorded for the batch. The recipe displayed on the HMI guides the operator through the automated steps required to formulate the bulk product. The process control system is also used to confirm that critical criteria are met. Tanks are clean and ready for use. Process utilities and equipment such as scales, purified water and process air are functioning properly. Raw material part numbers are correct before the material is added to the formulation tank. Raw materials are moved from the warehouse to the formulation suite, where the HMI initiates the batch and provides formulation instructions. Large containers of solid raw materials are added to the tank. The lift transports the drum to the top of the tank and adds the material. Load cells weigh large amounts of material and confirm when the proper quantity has been added. 
the process control system executes and monitors mixing speed and time. Once the manufacturing process is complete, the reagent is transferred to intermediate storage containers, and the tank is rinsed, now ready for the clean and place cycle. Tanks are cleaned according to validated clean and place procedures, and additional equipment is cleaned in the qualified parts washer and are then autoclaved. The Feynman Center purifies municipal potable water for all manufacturing. This water meets USP standards for total organic carbon and conductivity, with additional in-house requirements for bioburden and nucleasis, and the European Pharmacopeia purified water requirement for nitrates. All dispensing suites have a material pass-through, a gowning pass-through, and a room for dispensing. Our dispensing suites are ISO Class 7, and open product is contained within an ISO Class 5 area. The Feynman Automated Bottling Line is currently qualified to dispense five unique bottle sizes. Sterilized bottles are placed in the bottle hopper, and an unscrambler orients the bottles in an upright position and onto a conveyor belt for dispensing. Filling nozzles dispense reagent in volumes ranging from 5 milliliters to 1 liter, and the line fills thousands of bottles per batch. Intermediate bottle sizes run at approximately 120 bottles per minute. The filling line performs 100% inspection of fill volume. Each bottle features a cap containing an induction liner with plastic pull tab, with 100% inspection for application torque and missing caps. Filled and capped bottles move on a conveyor to the controlled, not classified space, where they are induction sealed. Induction sealing is a non-contact method for hermetically sealing an engineered laminated structure to the top of plastic containers to provide tamper evidence and leak prevention. After sealing, bottles pass through the labeler, receiving a side wrap and dot top label if required. The inspection camera captures images of the labels. Labels are 100% inspected for accuracy, including batch number and expiration date. The bottle is also inspected for label presence. Totes are used for intermediate storage and for bottle transfer to the automated kit packaging system. A barcode is affixed to each tote to identify the material inside. This barcode is used to track materials throughout the kitting process. Totes are held in the work in progress area of the warehouse until the finished bottles are quality control tested and released by Quality Assurance. The kit packaging automation line assembles ambient kits. Totes from the work in progress area are loaded into the system via robotic arm. Barcodes are scanned before unloading to ensure that the correct materials are packaged. Kit boxes are manually assembled and placed on the conveyor belt. Bottles move through chutes towards the placement arm. Every reagent bottle within the kit has its own dedicated chute. A pick and place arm transfers bottles from the chutes into their appropriate positions within the kit box. A camera takes photos of every kit to ensure bottles are in the correct places and that all bottles are accounted for. Product information inserts are placed into the boxes. Each box is shrink-wrapped for storage and shipping. This seal provides tamper evidence. Our Maxwell cartridge production lines produce thousands of finished cartridges per batch. Empty cartridges are loaded into the machine where they are filled and sealed. Label content is added using non-contact ink spray. Finished cartridges are loaded into trays, which are then stacked and packed into carts to be sent to kit packaging in one of our other facilities. Our Feynman QC laboratory scientists perform a variety of QC activities, including release testing, product stability testing, incoming material inspection, and environmental monitoring. The QC laboratory is divided into separate rooms designed for specialized processes and tasks. The Purification Lab is the starting point for the majority of QC release tests utilizing Maxwell instrumentation. The sample source for purifying DNA or RNA can range from plant material to human blood or tissue. Samples to be processed are added to the sample well of the cartridge. Cartridges are placed in the Maxwell instrument and the protocol is selected. The Preamp Lab is where purified nucleic acid is mixed with specialized reagents designed to amplify RNA using the reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction or amplify DNA using the polymerase chain reaction. In the Postamp Lab, amplification reactions are subjected to multiple rounds of heating and cooling in a thermal cycler. 
the newly synthesized DNA is quantified in a specialized real-time thermal cycler. Real-time amplification results can be viewed via computer screen, and sample wells are compared to control reactions on the plate to verify validity. The Environmental Monitoring Lab performs contamination testing to ensure that our manufacturing spaces and the water used for manufacturing meet specifications. Air and water samples are incubated on bacterial culture plates to reveal the presence of environmental contaminants like fungus and bacteria. Thank you for taking the tour and experiencing the highlights of our environment and capabilities at the Promega Feynman Center. This truly unique and state-of-the-art facility coexists with the surrounding landscape and provides a productive, creative, and healthy working environment for team members and visitors alike.